Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I am so excited for today's video because I'm going to be doing the full face using only my fingers challenge. I know this was like a really popular thing a couple years back. Then it kind of came back recently. Everyone started doing it again. So I'm like, you know what? I really want to try doing this. It just looks like such a fun tag. And it definitely looks like a challenge, which is like what I wanted to do. I'm like, you know what? Let's go and challenge ourselves today. And let's go ahead and make this video. I'm not going to be using any brushes in this video, obviously. Also, I don't have acrylic nails. I only just have like my fingers. I don't have nails. I've seen a lot of people do this with having acrylic nails. I don't have any acrylic nails. I just have chubby little fucking fat man hands. I feel like you, the nails are kind of like a helping tool. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna try it without the nails. No nails, no tools, just little nubs. And honestly, I think it's gonna turn out pretty bad, <laughs> but I'm praying for the best. That's all you can ask for me. You know, I'm gonna try my hardest, and I'm gonna try really, really hard, and that's all you can ask for me. Okay, cool, so let's go ahead and start getting into this video. As always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't fucking watch it. You know that you're that. But if you guys do like this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Manny Mue, welcome, how are you? And yeah, let's go ahead and get into this full face using only our fingers challenge. Okay, let's start this motherfucker. I've seen a lot of people's videos. I've seen a lot of people's videos on this. It's like almost like a, I feel like I'm studying for like a race. Obviously it's not a competition, but like I feel like I wanna do good, you know? Um, so first things first, I'm gonna prime my skin using the Professional by Benefit, and that I, have done with my fingers, so I'm not really scared about doing that. So what I decided to do, I'm gonna prime my skin first, and then I'm gonna start on the brows. I feel like the brows is gonna be like the, one of the hardest parts of this video, so I'm gonna do the brows first, and then I'll do the like rest of my face and like my eyes and shit like that. But I wanted to have my face primed because I'm kind of messy. I'm always just like done. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and start on with the brows now. I figured I was gonna use my pinky for the brows because my pinky is the smallest finger I have, and even though it's fucking large as fuck, look at that! Like, are you kidding? I can cover the whole fucking brow with this, bitch. It's huge, but we're gonna try to use it. I'm gonna use the new Makeup Forever Brow Sculpting Brow Palette. That's like a little powder and like wax and stuff like that. So I'm gonna use that because I feel like if you're using brow powder, it's gonna be easier to erase it with concealer. So I'm gonna take the little darkest color in my pinky. Oh, this feels wrong. Oh, this feels fucking wrong. I'm just gonna start. Pushing that through the brow with my pinky. <laughs> this is fucking weird. This is a really messy thing. Oh yeah, this is tough. Especially when you have fucking chubby ass man hands like me. So, now that we have our brows filled in. <laughs> if this counts as filled in, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing in my life. I'm gonna take the MAC Pro Longwear little concealer and a little dollop of that on my hand and I'm gonna use this to like underline my brow and clean up everything and let's just pray let's fucking pray this is a lot tougher than I thought okay this is a lot tougher than I thought it was gonna be okay I'm gonna use my pinky again should I do that <laughs> on a scale of one to ten how bad does that look? Like, really bad or like, kinda bad? <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. I'll make it work. Times like this make me wish I never bit my nails. <laughs> Let's go and just blend down that concealer. You know, my brows look hairy as fuck. They do, they look fucking thick as hell. But, it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. So, we're gonna continue on with the lamp. We can do this. We can fucking do this. Shit! Okay. I feel like I look angry. Okay, let's try that again. That brow has seen better days. Those brows have seen better days. Wow. We're gonna take some Anastasia brow gel, put it on our hand, and we're gonna go over it with our fingers again. I hate this, I really do. If you want that extra thick brow look, go in with that brow gel. If you want the bitches to take you fucking serious, go in with brow gel. I've never had thicker brows than this. It's almost offensive, but we're gonna we're, we're gonna be fine. Okay, I spent about like 15, almost 20 minutes on my brows. I can't, I can't. I'm obsessing, and it's ridiculous. And honestly, honestly, the right brow is not that bad. Well, the left brow looks like me and him got in a fight. <laughs> we're not talking. I can't continue to obsess. It's fine. It's done. That's it. The brows. <laughs> But it's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna take my Smashbox 24 hour primer and I'm gonna take that on the lids of the eyes with my finger because that I know how to do. <gasps> that I can do. Okay, we're just gonna put that all the way over. There's so much concealer over up on this brow. Oof, child. 
Do I look fishy and pretty? Or do I look like a fucking idiot? Okay, cool. So I think now that my eyes are primed, I'm gonna go ahead and start on with the face. I know I'm like kind of jumping all over the place, but I just rhymed. I just fucking rhymed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump to the face now and do my base. And then I'll continue on with the eyes after. I just wanted to have the brows done, prime my eyelids, and everything for what's to come. I'm sorry. First things first, we're gonna take the Makeup Forever Ultra HD stick. This is what I was dreading. This is what I was fucking dreading. Just don't think about it. Just don't think about it. It's fine. I just got chills. I just got fucking chills because I don't like this. Okay, it's fine. We're going to press it on to our skin. We're just going to do padding motions as this, and we're just going to pretend this is... A beauty blender, that's what we're gonna pretend, okay? Because I have to, or I'll fucking freak. Application with your fingers with foundation, not so bad. With this challenge, I feel like when you add more coverage, it'll just look fucking better when there's more coverage. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna keep on, we're just gonna keep on padding. Say a little prep for me. On your ears too. You know, this looks really bad over my beard. The reason that I can kind of get away with putting foundation over my beard is with a beauty blender, because it's not that bad. Beauty blender, for some reason, just helps it not catch on hair. But with your fingers, <laughs> my beard is not happy. Okay, put that on our nose. And we're just gonna tap for optimum coverage. This sounds so weird, hitting your nose with your finger like this. Sounds like, sounds like inappropriate things. <laughs> God, I hate how this feels. I hate it, I hate it, and I hate it. Honestly, the right brow is kind of slaying it, you know? Foundation is on. Feeling cakey as ever. <laughs> so now let's go ahead and put on some concealer. I'm gonna take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light. Put a dollop on my hand. Oh, child. Why are we doing this again? Why are we doing this? I don't, I don't fucking know. Okay, not so bad. Hate the way it feels. Don't like touching this, but it doesn't, it's not that bad. You guys, I'm really trying to slay this for real. I'm not gonna be a fucking basic bitch. I'm gonna slay it for you. And I'm gonna slay it for me, okay? God, now for the powder. Fuck, I don't want- This is the part I was also dreading. Laura Mercier. <laughs> We're gonna set the eyes. This finger, not this finger that we were putting it on with. We're gonna set it with this one. Look up. Oh, fuck. Okay. <sighs> this is so wrong. This is so fucking wrong. Everything I've been taught is a lie. Okay, we're just gonna pat it in. We're gonna make sure we pat everything in and make sure we can avoid creasing. The problem with this is that I, you put it down with the powder and then it lifts up because it's a finger and we're patchy as fuck. Don't forget to bake your smile lines. <laughs> okay, now for real, like what the fuck do I do? What do I do? Like how do I... <clears throat> okay, so we just put some on our hand, maybe like this. We're gonna put some on our hand. I'm gonna do that. Just kidding. No, fuck, why did I even do that? I'm stupid. We're gonna press it in. Why am I doing this? Why am I fucking doing this? For reals. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put it on our hand, between our fingers, and we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. And the more I hit my face, I've noticed, the more the excess powder falls off. This is, ah, I'm like actually hurting myself. Calm down. On our nose now. You guys should see my station right now. It's so fucking messy. It's like distracting. I'm wasting Laura Mercier. This powder isn't cheap. No, not the brows, fuck. I should have done the powder part before I did the brows, huh? Oh my gosh. Okay, what we didn't think about is how do we take off the excess powder off the face? Maybe after it's finished cooking, I can like dust it off with my fingers. Yeah, that's fine. It'll come off. Okay, so this is about as much powder I can get off, so we're looking a little patchy, but we're gonna deal. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder by Charlotte Tilbury and fix up the spots that are a little bit patchy and a little, like, that came up from putting on the powder in the shade number two. And this is just gonna help make things look hopefully a little bit more, a little prettier. Brian. Just areas, like, like the areas around my nose that did not, like, like me, basically is what I'm doing here. So I figured for bronzer, blush, and highlighter, we're gonna all use some ColourPop ones because these have like an emollient -y weird consistency and I figured that would be really good for this kind of challenge. So for bronzer, I'm gonna take the shade Skinny Dip, the Super Shock Cheek in the shade Skinny Dip Matte. I'm gonna use our fingers. I've never even tried these on my face before. This is actually the first time ever. They feel exactly like the matte shadows, like 
feels exactly the same. I'm just gonna bronze up the skin. Hmm. It's actually easy to create like a sharper contour with this kind of thing because you're using a finger. And a finger is a little bit more precise than a brush would be, I would think. That's not that bad. That's not that fucking bad! That looks like a severe ass contour and I'm kind of living. Okay, other side. I should really try using these a little bit more because they're not so bad. I'm kind of intrigued now. Okay, go ahead and bronze up your forehead and your temples or wherever the fuck you want to bronze. Bronze it up with your finger. And skinny dip. Oh, this is really weird. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. We are going to live. We're gonna get through this and we're gonna be glam as fuck. I feel like using tapping motions is gonna be a little bit easier when doing the bronzer, just to keep the color and coverage there, but still being able to blend it out with the tapping motions. Maybe some on the chin too, like we normally do. How's that look? It's a little blotchy. <sighs> Sorry, now I just tried to go like this with the tantalizer bronzer and try to intensify the bronzer. That is severe. Okay, let's try to blend that out. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's really not. To the other side too. I literally just got a little bit on my finger and went like this. Do a little bit on the forehead as well. It's so warm. I've never tried this before. I didn't know it was such a warm shade. So now I'm gonna go and highlight. I'm gonna take the shade Spoon Super Shock Cheek from, again, Color Pop, and I'm gonna put that on the highest point of the cheek. And we're gonna highlight with that motherfucker. I'm used to doing this step before I like set everything, so this is odd. We're gonna tap and we're gonna blend. Blend to your fucking fingers. Bleed. Okay, calm down. And then for blush, we're gonna take the same thing. I'm sure you guys were assuming ColourPop shade between the sheets for the blush. It's like a really, really pretty peachy pink shade. Oh, this one's a little harder. This is a little older, huh? Okay, okay. We're just gonna tap first and see how crazy it is. Tap between the highlight and the bronzer slash contour. That's a really pretty color, actually. <laughs> That's a really pretty color. And to top off the face highlight, I'm gonna go ahead and add the Jouer Topaz highlighter. You guys know I love Citrin, but I don't know if that's in stock right now, so I'm gonna use Topaz. I don't even know if Topaz is in stock. <gasps> right at the tip point. Just to be extra, extra goddessy. Just a little bit on the nose, too, to snatch it slightly, because I don't know if I really want to contour it. Keep it as well. Woo! Okay guys, so the face is on now. This is the face. This is what it looks like. I don't think it's too bad. It could be a lot, lot worse. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the eyes and let's get started on this motherfucker. First things first, I'm gonna take the Infallible Shadow by L'Oreal in the shade Endless Pearl, which is like a matte uh, cream color. And I figured we're gonna put that all over the entire eye space to have a nice base and to have things to like transition into all over the eye to set everything, set the concealer we had on earlier. Just so I have a nice base color down. It's like a creamy white. Looks a little funny. Okay, cool. So we have this base on. Fuck, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I can do this. I can do this. I am a makeup artist. I'm creative. And I can fucking do this. Okay. So Makeup Geek just came out with some shadows, some brand new shadows, and I've already depotted them and put them in my little Z palette. So I'm gonna try to use some of these shades because they look so cute. I'm gonna take this shade, Bake Sale, which is a nice neutral transition which almost has like a little bit of a pinky undertone it's like a pinkish brown and it just looks really stunning and it looks like right up my fucking alley so I'm gonna take that on middle finger a little a very light amount I'm just gonna whirl it and pray for the best I'm put that into the transition oh holy fuck didn't realize that it goes on like that okay we're just gonna pat and blend I decided that I'm gonna do a Halo eye, <laughs> for sure. Okay, put that on the outer corner. I'm gonna take that on the inner corner of our eye as well. This is so much harder than I thought it was gonna be. Holy fuck, I thought it was gonna be like a nice light neutral, nothing crazy. Okay, we're gonna start putting this into the crease with our pinky. How do people do this? My fucking nose is in the way. I'm keeping like, mm. Okay, we're gonna pat. And to blend out the crease part above, we're gonna go and just press and pat. Um, to help blend out the color and luckily we can always go back in with that L'Oreal white shade to really help clean up everything So she looks something like that Holy fuck. Do the no brushes challenge they said it'll be fun They said thank goodness for makeup geek shadows because they blend so well even on the fucking finger Okay, so we have the base of the halo down not as blended as I like to go, but uh We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to keep moving 
So I'm gonna take the shade Cabin Fever by Make of Geek, another one of their new shades, I believe. Don't quote me. Um, on my pinky, a little bit on the pinky. I'm gonna take it on the outer corner. Start dividing the halo into the crease a little closer than the other shade. <gasps> and we're gonna do that same thing on the inner third. And blend it out. I feel like we're getting somewhere here. I'm getting somewhere, right? It's not like terrible, terrible. It's like, it's bad, but it's not like, like you don't want to like cry. So now I'm going to go in with the shade from ColourPop Weenie, which is, um, I believe, part of Kathleen's collection with ColourPop, one of her, one of her collections. This is in the shade Weenie, so it's a really cool, like, foiled, uh, like, rose color. And I'm going to put that on the middle part of our halo. I can see your halo. Ooh. Okay, that's beautiful. That's actually stunning. Cool. Cool, cool. Blend out those edges with Bake Sale real quick. And then on top of that, I'm gonna go ahead and put the new shade from Makeup Geek called Encore. Or I don't know if that's actually a new shade. I just have it in this little palette. I'm gonna put that on top of Kathleen's color. Just to give us an extra bit of pop on the center of the lid. Oh, this is so pretty actually. I wish I did this with a brush. Okay, so this is what the top of the eye looks like. <laughs> Go ahead and try to blend out those edges a little bit more. Let's go ahead and run that same shade Big Sale underneath our lash line. Just to give us some... I don't even know at this point. I just feel like a little... I'm like a lost little puppy right now. Sorry guys. It's hard for me to talk because I'm trying to concentrate. And I don't want to fail you. And I feel like I'm failing this challenge. <laughs> but I'm really trying. So now we're going to take a little bit of that same chocolatey shade which was Cabin Fever. A very tiny, like a little tiny, a little nugget. See that nugget? Yeah, that little nugget. I'm gonna put it on the outer corner. Can't even see it. Can't even see it. Okay. Oh, you can! You can a little bit. You see that? Do you guys see it? Okay, muy bien. Si, sí, muy bien. Okay. Yeah, honestly, I think that's why I'm gonna keep it. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna put some lashes on it. Oh, fuck, what about mascara? Okay, so time for the mascara. And I was thinking, oh, it's fine. Like, the mascara will be easy. I can just do it with the thing, and I can't because it's all fingers. So I'm just going to take some other mascara product, Roller Lash specifically by Benefit because I love it, on the back of my hand. Fuck, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Black on my hand, finger. Luckily, I wear lashes all the time, so it's, like, not that bad. This is a terrible idea. Do I have to do the bottom lashes, too? Fuck, this is tough. The bottom lashes is going to be, like, honestly, what, hell on earth, maybe? Nothing's happening! I come to realize that the wiggling helps a little bit better. Okay, time for lashes. <sighs> okay, the mascara is on. Now we're gonna put on some lashes that are bigger than what life, our hopes, our dreams. We're gonna take Bella lashes from New Balance. And we're gonna put these on, and this is gonna really help conceal all the mistakes you made in your life. <laughs> you guys were so mistaken if you guys thought I was gonna be doing eyeliner with this look because I have nubs. Yeah. I have the fingers of a shrew. It's funny because I hate putting on lashes with my fingers. I always use um, tweezers. So this is even a challenge for me. I don't like it. Bam! Okay, so now that we have the lashes on, we're gonna go ahead and do the lips. And we are done with the full face using all of our fingers. So I'm gonna take the Rimmel London lipstick in the shade 45. I just love this color so much. I use it all the time, as you can see. I'm just gonna take that on my finger, of course. Fuck, this feels weird. And no lip lining either. Okay, why don't we just kill Manny while we're at it? Oh, this is gonna take a while. Doing the bottom lip is not too hard. Not too hard. How does one overdraw when there is no lip liner? And to top it all off, we're gonna add some Glouse from Marc Jacobs. This is in the shade Moonchild. I'm gonna put that all over the lips to make it look like we care about ourselves. And this is it! Oh my god, we finished it, you guys! We did the full face using only fingers challenge. And yes, this was a fucking challenge. It was hard, and my nose looks fucking massive because I didn't contour it because I was scared. No, I don't want to ruin it. I don't want to ruin it. That's why I don't want to ruin my face because I feel like it looks okay. If I, and I feel like if I contour my nose or I try, it's going to look fucked. Let's put more highlight on. And that is it, you guys. That is it for the entire look. This is the full face using only my fingers challenge. And honestly, I don't think it turned out that bad. I thought I could have done a lot worse. Um, especially with using only my little nubs, you know, only my nubbies. I only use my fingers in this, and I honestly thought it turned out pretty good. I'm contoured, I'm highlighted, I have an eye look on that's, that's, you know, it's a little risky, it's a little crazy. But we got through it, and, you know, lips are done, not overdraw like I like to, but 
we did it. And yeah, I had so much fun creating this video for you guys. If you guys liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. I would definitely suggest you guys doing this. This is honestly really, really, really hard. And I would say the hardest part was applying the powder. The powder fucked me. It bugged me in the ass, you know, like no lube, so. And if you guys do this challenge, please tag me in it and just let me know if you guys did it or not because I would love to see your guys' recreations or on Instagram. Tag me on Instagram as well. Everything I use in today's video will be linked down below as everything always is because I'm a fucking good YouTuber and I put a lot of shit in the descriptions when I can. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram, on Snapchat. I'll leave them both floating right here. Other than that, have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are. I'm going out of town very, very soon, so I'm going to put this up as soon as I can. But yeah, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye, you guys. Mwah. Let's start this bitch. Okay, there is a thing going on right now. Come on, plane. Get it done. Get it done. Oh. Fighter pilots, I'm in this bitch. Okay. Like, I saw some people. Nah. I fucked up. <laughs> that fly. This fly is really toying with me. I feel like Chewbacca's fucking cousin. How bad are the brows, for real? So, what I'm gonna do now is I grabbed the Charlotte Tilbury Air Brush Falish Finnet. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> what am I saying? Fuck. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay. Swing. It's because it's hot and my makeup sucks. And yeah.